Hey, my name is Eon. Welcome back to the LibreFlip. This is uh, LibreFlip, the open source page turning book scanner that I've been making for the last years with the help of some other people and organizations. And in episode 33, I hinted at the um, issue of uh, the reflections and the image quality. And today I want to fiddle with all the factors that I have influence over and see what kind of image quality we get if um, things are a bit more optimized than with the very rough test uh, in episode 33 where we just switch it on and saw, yes, there is an image. Okay, let's see how does it look. Also, I want to remake this little part here of the light holder to increase the height of the light holder with the goal of reducing the reflections or moving it uh, somewhere else where it's not in the picture. Still on the mission to hopefully not having to rebuild a new suction box. If this measure fails and isn't enough, then I actually have to make a new suction box. And I somehow want to avoid that right now. But it would be okay. If I actually have to, then um, I will. But let's see if we can avoid it. Because the printing takes some time, I guess I'll first design the new part and put it on the printer and then we'll fill it with the cameras. Yeah, so this is the LibreFlip design. I actually imported it recently into Fusion 360, which more or less worked. And I believe Fusion 360 is free. So um, from at least for hobbyists and students uh, right now. So this is more accessible than having this design in Inventor. So I'll continue working on it in Fusion 360. Uh, also because I like this software a little bit more than the Inventor. This is the part. Let's get to it a little bit closer. Let's isolate this. This is way too many parts. And now I want to make it higher. So I'll increase this by what? What do we do? Let's say 15 millimeters. Let's be a bit drastic to really make a difference and see if this uh, is clearly better than the current design. That that looks good. Let's print that. Yes, save as STL. Let's go into Kura. And there we have it. And this needs to be rotated. Definitely. Yeah, like this. And then I want two of that, like two of them. Okay, yeah, no support should be fine. That's also fine, we don't have time for a long print job. Yeah, it doesn't need to hold much. That's a pretty minimal amount. Material. Yeah, nah, I've had better experience with soon at 15, I guess. Okay. Speed travel, let's leave that all default and see how long this will take. 38 minutes. Minutes. Sounds good. Let's do this. These print beds need to be cleaned before a job. They need to be absolutely spotless and alcohol free. Uh, fat free, which is why I'm using alcohol. Looks good. So let's print this part. This file, this button. And the bed temp has been set as we can see on this graph. Let's walk over to the printer. Now we have reached the bed temperature and now we are waiting for the extruder to heat up to 215 degrees Celsius. So while this is printing, let's open the housing so we can get to the cameras. Okay, let's boot this machine. Ah, well, that looks really ugly. Let me fix that for you. So much better. Okay, let's boot this machine. The machine has booted up and now let's test this super important feature for today. Does the light actually work? This USB cable goes to the Arduino and, and right now the Arduino is programmed that it should switch on the light as soon as he gets power on USB. So let's plug that in and see if he gets power and if the light turns then on. Zaka said it would now. Please, please, please. Yes. See, we have light. That's good. We can continue. 
It's a touch screen as you can see. Let's open the terminal and find out at what IP the machine currently is. Come on terminal. Okay. There we are. What does it say? 170, okay, let's access this with SSH on my computer over here. Here we are, that's the IP of the Odroid. Let's SSH into that. Awesome, here's the machine, and this string should shoot a picture. But before that, I need to still connect to it with the second app to download the pictures. Okay. Let's make a new folder in this folder and call it uh, episode 35. Yes, that sounds good to me. There we are. Let's go to that path. Awesome. Okay, so let's shoot a picture. Okay, let's look at the picture. Okay, let's transfer this over. Okay, there is the picture and it looks crap. Why? Because the light isn't switched on yet. Let's switch on the light. Yes, awesome, that works. Let's do this again. Test two. Yes, great. Let's transfer that file. Okay. And let's look at it. That looks pretty nice. I mean, we can see that the image should shift a bit to the right. Okay, so this was page 246 so it's the left page so it's actually that camera that i've been filming the whole time that's what i wanted okay let's adjust this camera so it's a bit more towards the back of this of the image yes okay so i guess it's supposed to go in Okay, it's surprisingly hard, I don't know why. Let's try again. Test number three. Okay, let's transfer that. Good. Let's look at it. In comparison. Yeah, the camera moved over, without a doubt. Okay, I guess we need to move it down a bit as well. Let's do this. Okay, another test. Test number four. There it is. I st I'm still not l not happy with it. Like, look, we are not not seeing the very bottom of the page here. Okay, and and I believe it needs to go in a bit further to on the right as well. Okay, let's test again. So this is before. This is after. Yeah, I believe I can even go a bit back with the right thing. Okay, let's go a bit back. Oh, I should go down with the suction box actually for better image quality. 
and actual possibility of adjustment. I'm an idiot. Let's start a fresh test number seven. Dang. Okay. Yes, I am truly an idiot. So test number seven is actually how it looks. Test number nine. Yeah, it's better, but I'm not yet there. I calculated uh, the camera and the uh, lens of it to be in this position and not a bit further back, because I thought that this way I get actually more pixels. But right now I start to believe that this part actually sticks out way too much, like it deliberately sticks out more than it needs to, to position the camera closer to it. But I believe the camera should be mounted a bit further back. This isn't optimal. Like in one of the very early episodes, I made experiments around the positioning and distance of the camera to the a piece of paper. And it seemed to work out like just barely I optimized for that. But now I think I should have mounted the camera a bit further back. Like it's too, too close. Um, I'm, I'm not happy with it right now. I'll continue adjusting um, a little bit and see where we get. Okay, what's my next move? I believe down. Test number 10. That looks acceptable. I think one could scan a book with that quality. Let's see if I can improve the focus a little bit. I'll move it just a tiny bit away from me. Is it is better? Isn't perfect yet, but it's the right direction of turning. Okay, so I'll move less now. Okay, let's take the next picture. Okay, let's compare 11, 12. I believe that's pretty good. I think we can absolutely work with that. Let's continue with the other camera, but first I take a small break. I'm now ready to set up this left camera. Uh, let's change this around. This is now seven here, video seven. And it's L test left camera test one. Uh, okay. Shoot. And over here is the file. Good. Let's check that. Okay, good. So we see the reflection here. And the camera needs to go down as well. And quite a bit at that and a bit to the right. Let's adjust that. Next test picture. Comparison, it's further down, and it's, I don't need to adjust the left and right anymore. Let's shoot again. There it is. And a comparison. That's pretty good. And look at the reflection, it's not even in the picture anymore. That is pretty good, I am very happy with that. Okay, let's still put in the uh, new distance pieces and see what changes, if it gets worse or better. good to me.
Let's put on the new one. Also, this is really dirty. Let's clean this off a bit. Let's attach these. Like so. That's why I have suction cups on them. Okay, and I think we can put them to back in. Let's compare the reflections again. Let's make another two pictures. One from the right, one from the left. There was one camera. And with the other camera, what? There's number 13 now. And change this to six. Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen. Test four was the one with the old light fixture. And we see little bit of reflections. Can we do full screen somehow? There is the button. So that's with the lower light. And that's... Wait, I don't see a freaking difference. It's, it's a little bit weaker, but that might be my imagination. In the very bottom of the picture, the reflection. Okay, and now let's look at the other camera. So, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, 12 is the old one. We see a little bit of reflection in the very top. And 13, a little bit less. I would call this good. I think I don't need to make a new suction box. This is good news. I think this will work out. Uh, and we don't need to make the new suction box. That is awesome. The geometry works out and the reflection is gone. With this new distance piece and it's now 15 millimeters higher, the reflection isn't there anymore. I can continue. I don't have to make a new suction box. I was looking forward to this moment and I'm happy that I, yeah, that it turned out this way. I still uh, might want to um, reduce the height of the camera holders a little bit. These 20 millimeters um, shorter might be a clever idea so I can fulfill the promise of uh, capturing A4 with this book scanner right now. It might be a little bit under, but that's fine. I scraped the edge there and um, got really close to what's theoretically optimal. Uh, and I should go back a little bit and give the user a little bit more adjustment freedom and yeah, um, tolerance for error um, if, so if someone else builds it. Not that this version is perfect. This has been skewed enough. You saw the pictures earlier. I think this is the last episode for this year. So um, the new episode will come out in January. I have no clue what it will be about. Uh, we'll see. And we are still working towards the goal of turning a page with the new stepper driver. And the software development that I sh talked about in episode 34 is still going strong. And we'll see results hopefully soon. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And if you're new to the series, this is just one part in a longer series where I show all the steps how I'm making this open source page turning book scanner called LibreFlip. So thanks for watching and see you soon.